paying homage to fallen heroes. Three soldiers and two army porters killed in action after they came under attack by heavily armed terrorists at Bhotepatri in Baramula district. A massive cordon and search operation is underway to track down the attackers involved in the deadly ambush on an army truck on Thursday evening. This is the second major terrorist attack in the valley in the last one week. On Sunday, seven workers, including a doctor, were killed after terrorists attacked a campaign site of road tunnel workers in Gandharbal district. Since June, there have been over a dozen attacks on the army in Jammu and Kashmir. While the Jammu region was mainly affected by such attacks, the Bhattapatri ambush is an indication that the Kashmir Valley may again be target of Pakistani-backed terrorists. The recent surge in terror attacks has exposed Pakistan's hypocrisy once again. While its political leadership recently made all the right noises as external affairs minister visited Islamabad for the SCO summit, its army and its proxies continue to shed the blood of innocents in Jammu and Kashmir. Former Chief Minister and National Conference leader Farooq Abdullah has blamed Pakistan for the attack. The Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor, who is in charge of the law and order and security in Jammu and Kashmir, has asked the army for swift action to neutralize attackers. The spurt in terror incidents has come after the elected government took over in the region. While Chief Minister Omar Abdullah has strongly condemned the attack, he has literally no authority over police and law and order as long as Jammu and Kashmir remains in New Union territory. While a massive counter-terrorist operation has been launched in larger areas of Gulmarg, dealing with mountain warfare and battle-hardened terrorists, is posing a serious challenge for the security forces in Jammu and Kashmir. With Nazir Masoodi, Bureau Report, NDTV.